Hey, good afternoon. How are all of my soul family member Virgos doing out there? Uh, my name is Morty, and I'm excited to do today's read for you. So today I'm going to do a read for the sign of Virgo, and this will be for the month of February 2019. So we just want to see what's going on in, uh, in the world of Virgo. Um, you may have your sun sign in, in Virgo, or your moon or rising. Um, or you may just be checking in on a Virgo, right? Um, or maybe you're just intuitively guided to be here. I'm seeing more and more of that, right? learning about that in, in the comments. Um, and I'm so happy to, uh, to learn that, right? That, um, that many of you are being intuitively guided, or you feel you're being intuitively guided to this channel. And intuitively, I'm telling you, I believe you are too. Um, and I'm happy to hear that. That makes, that makes me feel good. Allows me to feel gratitude, um, to really feel it, you know, and to feel it in my heart. It's a beautiful thing. Um, anyways, yeah, so I'm excited to have all of you here. Um, thank you, for, all of you, for watching, for all the comments, likes, subscribes, and shares. Um, thank you for the beautiful contributions. Um, honestly, you guys are what makes this channel possible, right? What, what allows me to be able to do this. Um, it means everything to me. So... Um, I'm eternally grateful. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to do this read. Uh, Virgos, what a great sign. Um, you'd be very meticulous, right? And very, and very witty. Clever-minded. Great sense of humor. Um, you'd be analytical. You can be, uh, very practical. Reliable. Um, but then you also, I mean, Virgos, they have a strong sense of black and white, right? Right and wrong. So they can be judgmental at times, um, or quick to judge, right? Um, sometimes they can snap, it can be a little harsh. Uh, yeah, but you know, if once you understand a Virgo, um, and you know what they're truly like, it's all okay. You know, even the snap is okay. So, anyways, I don't know why I'm saying all that. I just like talking about the signs, it's fun. I get fascinated with it, I love to learn about the different signs and the movement of the planets, you know, and you know, I love just trying to understand the mechanics of life. You know, I've spent the last couple of years doing that, um, really examining and looking into life. Um, and yeah, and I'm so grateful that I've done that because it's, it's, um, it's taught me so much. So sometimes I just kind of ramble on. Um, yeah, but astrology is fascinating. You know, the truth that is found in the stars, you know, all of us, we're all just energies. Um, and you have these planets that all represent different frequencies, right? And depending on who and where we are in the world at the time and the planetary movements and the shifts that are taking place, what it creates for each and every one of us is constant change, right? So we don't stagnate, right? Rolling stone gathers no moss. Um, Anyways, it's, um, yeah, it's fun because it keeps constant change in the lives of each and every one of us. Um, because these frequencies come in and they alter our 3D reality, right? Um, and it comes at us in many different ways. People, places, and things. And tarot readings are just a, a fantastic way to be able to get a forecast, to have some uh, kind of a heads up of what may lay ahead, lie ahead. Um, so that you can be better prepared to take it on. Um, better prepared to resonate with those energies you want to resonate with. And better prepared to and equip to avoid some of those limiting energies, you know. Being aware of what those are. So, yeah, it's fascinating. But I'm happy to have all of you guys here. So, I'll quit rambling now. And we got started on this read. First thing I want to do for Virgo is pull an affirmation card. I just want to see what affirmation would be beneficial for Virgo, taking them to know about, be aware of, taking them into the month of February. Beautiful. Okay, Virgo. You pulled the affirmation of harmony. Harmony, what a beautiful thing. Okay, the number 27, which reduces to the number 9. Great number. The strongest, most powerful number out there. Harmony. 
As I create, I will share harmony divine with love and care. As I create, I will share harmony divine with love and care. As I create, I will share harmony divine with love and care. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this is beautiful. Um, so Virgo, whatever it is you are creating in your life, um, that you're sharing them so willingly, that there's some divinity to it, meaning the universe is behind this, right? You have the universe's support. It's beautiful. It makes me kind of excited for you, Virgo. All right, so it'll be interesting to see how that affirmation fits into uh, today's tarot read. So yeah, 2019, it's here. I mean, we're 17 days into it, right? Oh, by the way, I don't think I said the date. Today is January 17th, and it is, right now it's 2.05 p.m. Um, yeah, I think I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video, so sorry about that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to pull a card to see what the opening energy is taking Virgo into today's read, into February 2019. Okay, beautiful card, Virgo. I don't need my glasses. I went to grab them. Virgo, you have the Ten of Cups. What a beautiful card. One of my favorites. Um, this is the culmination of love, right? This is the coming together, more of the completion, if you will, of the Two of Cups. Two of Cups, uh, two people coming together, right? Forming that union, that bond of love, right? And maybe this Ten of Cups represents the, the culmination of that, right? Um, maybe the completion of that. It's beautiful. Very exciting, Virgo. Too many cards, honestly. Um, just have to trust me on that one. I didn't even look to see what was there. There was just a stack. So, so you can you can feel it when you're when you're tarot reading when it's when it's just the correct drop or when it's not a drop. That was correct. Okay, Virgo. You have the Ace of Pentacles. It's a beautiful card. Ace of Pentacles. Aces represent beginnings, right? So this is a new beginning coming into the atmosphere of Virgo. Um, it's a new earthly beginning, right? So this can be uh, the beginning of a relationship. Um, it can be the beginning of work or something changing within your work. Um, this can be the beginning of relocating, moving, um, new opportunities, right? New friendships, um, just new, new favorable change. That's uh, it's an abundant kind of change. It's a great card for you, Virgo. <clears throat> You have the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles, this is a pretty limiting energy. This is the energy of feeling like um, it's the wounded warrior being left out in the cold, right? Um, yeah, but it's not its not as bleak as, as, it, as it kind of looks. But if you look at it closely, you see the mother and the child. They have one another. They have each other spiritually. That's a beautiful thing. But it can be a pretty limiting energy, right? It can be, uh, you know, feeling like feeling like you've been left out in the cold. Um, maybe you've been um, you haven't received um, in a way that maybe you've wanted to receive in life, right? Um, something maybe something hasn't come together.
Virgo, we have the Fool. Uh, this is a great energy, right? This is just the opposite kind of energy of what we just looked at. Um, so, and it's coming afterwards. So, this makes me happy for you, Virgo, right? Um, the Fool's energy is, this is moving, moving through life without worry and concern, right? The figure here in the card, she's on the edge of this cliff, right? She looks like she's going to step over the edge. But she's not worried. She's not concerned. In fact, if anything, she's kind of mesmerized by the beauty around her. She's taken up by the butterflies flying around her, representing rebirth. She's at the beginning of her journey. This is exciting. Um, this is a beginning. It's a great energy for you, Virgo. Virgo, we have the Devil card, which is also the card of Capricorn. So some of you may be in a relationship with the Capricorn. Um, so the Devil card, what this represents is this is our ego mind, right? These are some of the passions and pleasures in life that maybe we like too much. Um, at times it can mean addictions. Um, but if you look at the figure here in the card, Pan is back in the background and he's playing this flute, right? And he's trying to play a really beautiful song and just woe her under this pomegranate tree where she'll partake of the fruit. And it looks like he's doing a pretty good job. That's coming in next to the fool. Virgo, you have the Emperor. This is a fantastic card. It's the card of Aries, right? So some of you may be in a relationship with an Aries. So the Emperor, I mean, he stands firm. He represents authority, right? Security, stability, leadership, right? The kind of person you can follow, that you can, that you can stand behind, the kind of person you can trust. The Emperor knows his way, right? He knows his way from holding his crystal ball in front of him. He has the Aries ram horn adorning his head. And then he has an eagle flying above him, also holding a crystal ball. He definitely knows his way. And he stands sure-footed. It's a great energy for you, Virgo. We have the unknown card. So, this Crystal Vision tarot set is the only tarot set I'm familiar with that has a card in it that's called the unknown card, right? Um, and what this unknown card represents is it represents that wherever it falls on the spread, whatever it's connected to, that the answer at that time is unknown. And this is coming in under the Ace of Pentacles. Sorry, I put my elbows down and sometimes the cards stick, so yeah, it's kind of funny. I wish you guys could just I, you know, see the whole spread and, and I'm working on angles and everything, so yeah, and also working on like figuring out how I can have a pop-up come up on the screen that has the spread on it, right? So as I'm going through it talking about it, you can follow along with me. All right, Virgo, tell me more. you have the Queen of Wands. So Queen of Wands, this would be a fire sign. So Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius. So Queen of Wands, um, this is a fantastic energy. Uh, this is, uh, the Queen of Wands knows exactly where she's going, right? Um, very, very intuitive queen, probably maybe the most intuitive. Um, knows her direction, symbolized by this eagle flying above her, right? She may also be receiving some divine help, some guidance. She stands next to her next to her lion, representing power and strength. She has crystal balls. She knows her direction. This is a great energy. She has this magnetic charm to her. Just pulls people in. That's coming in under the Five of Pentacles. All right, too many cards again. It's 
still too many cards. I mean, I don't know what it is, Virgo. The cards are just wanting to fly out of the deck. Oh, Virgo, tell me more. Tell me more. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. So, the Ten of Swords. It's a pretty bleak looking figure on this card, right? She lays in the snow and she has these ten swords that are impaled on her back. Right? This represents completion. Right? Something in Virgo's life, in Virgo's atmosphere, coming to completion. In the month of February. So, completions, they can be painful, but they're beautiful. Because they allow and they create the opportunity for new beginnings. So Virgo, I see this as a, as a great card for you. And that's coming in under the full. Okay, Virgo, we have the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, <clears throat> so air sign, so Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Um, doesn't have to be. But it's the energy that it represents. Um, the Knight of Swords. What I feel that the Knight of Swords, well, first of all, like all knights, he shows up, right? Knights always show up. It's that kind of energy. Right? He comes flying in. Um, he can be a bit of a forceful communicator. Um, he comes in with a sword drawn and ravens behind him, like he's coming in for battle. But there's no battle there for him, right? What he's bringing is he's bringing truth. Right? Truth and understanding. And it's a truth that sets us free. And that's coming in under the devil card. have the will of fortune so what this tells me Virgo and this is coming in under the Emperor All right so this is change change coming into coming into your atmosphere change that you can count on um, so the reason I want to bring this up now is this is such an important time to I mean Virgo the way you manage your energy right now has everything to do with what kind of change comes into your atmosphere. Um, you know, if we're stuck in a lot of negativity, right? A lot of, um, a lot of anger and hate, and some of those limiting energies, well, it's gonna limit the, the kind of resonance that we are able to attract when it comes to this change in our life. However, if we're living life with an abundance of love, right? Love and appreciation for all things, living with a sense of, a strong sense of gratitude, I mean, really feeling it every day. That's, going, that's a higher frequency. You know, what it's going to attract is a stronger resonance into your life, stronger fortune, a greater change. That's how it works. That's coming in under the emperor again. Virgo, you now have the Two of Cups. Two of Cups. This is the energy taking you out of the reed. That's interesting. We had the Ten of Cups coming into the reed. We have the Two of Cups coming out. So Virgo, you have a relationship going on in your world. Absolutely. You are definitely having love, romantic kind of relationship in your atmosphere. Um, the Two of Cups, this is a beautiful card. Two people standing in a, in a, in a pool of water. You know, up to their waist, under a full moon, water representing feeling, emotion, love. Under a full moon, now magnify that, right? Powerful. 
It's beautiful. He has his hand on hers. And he's sharing, he's pouring his cup into hers. It's beautiful. Sharing his cup of love. Virgo, we also have the Nine of Wands. Again, these are energies taking us out of the reading. This is a good energy. Um, this is about being alert. Right? The figure here on the card, she's been in battle, right? and it appears that she's resting, but she's not. She has these wands lit up all around her, right? She's, she's sitting next to her, her lion. She's looking out at everything that can be coming towards her. She has her lion watching her back. She's protected. So, Virgo, you're being encouraged to pay attention. Be alert. All right, so, Virgo, give me, um, Give me just a few seconds here to take a look at the spread, and I just want to—I just want to see it um, in its entirety, and and begin to put it together, and I can share it with you. Okay, Virgo, for starters, your opening affirmation, harmony. Right? Harmony, such a such a beautiful resonance within us, right? Right? It's main harmony is is maintaining balance, right? Um, maintaining this beautiful resonance within us. It's key for you in the month of February. Virgo. And I believe that in the month of February, this harmony and this balance has to do with this relationship in your life. Um, for some Virgos, it's a, ro it's a romantic relationship. Um, for other Virgos, it could be a work relationship. It could be both. Um, it's a meaningful relationship. It's a relationship of trust. It's a relationship of unconditional love. I mean, it's it's a powerful image here in this card. She's holding the baby up to up against her, as he holds them both, letting them feel of his love. So, for some Virgos out there, I think you felt, you've known within you, yeah, you've known that this new beginning is coming. But what's, what hasn't been known is when it's coming, right? But you've felt it. I think you've been feeling it for a little while, quite a while. But you haven't, you haven't been able to know when it's going to come. And now, you have the opportunity to know that it's coming. It's coming. Virgo, I think there was a time where and it may not have been very long ago when you felt that energy of feeling like you were left out in the cold, right? Um, whatever happened in life, whatever circumstances took place, right, for Virgo out there, it left you feeling like you were out, out in the cold. And I commend you, Virgo, because you didn't stay in that limiting energy, right? You pulled upon your inner resources, your inner strength, and you were able to to capture this Queen of Wands energy, right, within you. This magnetic charm um, that just attracts uh, 
it's beautiful. It's, it represents strength, direction, um, confidence. And everybody should love the Queen of Wands. It's very intuitive. It's beautiful. Virgo, you allowed something in your life to come to a completion. I congratulate you. It's beautiful. In doing so, allowed you to take on the energy of the full and begin your brand new journey. What a fun energy, right? It's not a reckless energy. It's a carefree energy. It's beautiful. This makes me excited for you, Virgo. So, Virgo, I think for you, this devil card, what it represents, what it represents that our ego mind, right? And I think it can represent some fears, right? Um, some fears about something that you haven't known, something that you haven't fully understood, right? But what you have coming into your atmosphere is the Knight of Swords. And what does he bring? He brings truth. Yeah. He brings truth. He brings the facts. Um, and it's a truth, Virgo. It's a truth that sets you free. It's beautiful. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you already have the truth. Some Virgos may. For others, it's coming. Virgo, you can anticipate change coming into your life in the month of February. Represented in the Wheel of Fortune. And just looking at the read, um, it looks like you're doing a pretty darn good job managing your energy, um, which is fantastic when it comes to um, determining what kind of change comes into comes into your atmosphere. The kind of change that comes is found in the Emperor, right? This energy that you can count on, this energy that you can trust, this sure-footed energy. It's a great thing for you, Virgo. For some of you, it'll be an Aries. For others, it'll be that energy of the Aries. Closing energies, taking us out of today's read. Two of Cups, right? Love coming together for Virgo. Nine of Wands. Reminding you, Virgo, to be alert, to pay attention. Count on your intuition, right? Connect with your intuition. It's beautiful. All right. Um, I think... Uh, I mean, I could get some further clarification in a few areas, but I mean, anytime the unknown card comes up, right? I like to get a little clarification. I'm just that way. Uh, and that's probably silly, right? Because it's supposed to be unknown. But I mean, I just don't like no. I mean, I have an Aquarius sun in me, right? I just don't like to be told no. So I'm going to do that, right? I'm going to ask for a little further clarification on the unknown card. All right. Unknown card. Further clarification, please. Tell me more. Oh, that was... That was quick. Okay, Virgo. Clarification on the unknown card. We got the Five of Swords. Five of Swords. This is a pretty limiting energy. Right? This is the energy of feeling like you got stabbed in the back. Um, maybe, you had, maybe, maybe somebody won with an unfair advantage. Remember, this could go either way. Um, 
but it's coming in under the Ace of Pentacles, right? Which, that's where the Unknown card came, right? And this is clarification on that. So, you know, maybe it's because of this energy, right, that, uh, that has existed that the Unknown card came out right now. So, I don't know, this is maybe just a limiting energy that uh, maybe has to fully pass. In fact, I think that's what it is, right? It's a, in fact, it's exactly what it is. I'm glad that just came to me. Oof, I love that. I love intuition, right? So, this Ace of Pentacles, when does it start? It's unknown because this Five of Swords energy has to be allowed to pass completely first. So Virgo, that's something to uh, to be mindful of, right? Okay, guys, uh, this has been a really fun reading. Um, I really enjoyed giving it to you guys. I hope all of you enjoyed it. Um, I look forward to reading the comments, you know, and finding out. Um, and by the way, thank you for all the comments, like, subscribe, shares, for the donations, the contributions. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Uh, by the way, if you hit the notification bell, um, you'll get notifications when I download an upl or upload a new video. So, anyways, I encourage all, the, all of you to do that as well. Virgo, looks like you have kind of a magical February in front of you. I'm excited for you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for participating in today's read with me. Uh, really enjoyed having you guys. It's been a fun read to do. Harmony, Virgo. It's all about harmony. Have a great day and uh, best to you in February.